Unit 4, Lesson 6, Using Diagrams to Find the Number of Groups. Number 1. We can think of 3 divided by 1 fourth as the answer to the question, How many groups of 1 fourth are in 3? Draw a tape diagram to represent the question, then answer the question. This entire tape diagram represents 3 whole units, and it's been divided up into 12 groups of 1 fourth. 3 divided by 1 fourth equals 12. Number 2. Describe how to draw a tape diagram to represent an answer. 3 divided by 3 fifths equals what number? For a friend who was absent. In this tape diagram, I placed groups of 3 fifths one after another until I had a total of 15 fifths, because 15 fifths is equal to 3. There are 5 groups of 3 fifths in 3, so the answer is 5. Number 3. How many groups of 1 half days are in 1 week? A. Write a multiplication equation or a division equation to represent the question. What number times one-half equals seven? B. Draw a tape diagram to show the relationship between the quantities and to answer the question. Use graph paper if needed. This tape diagram shows that I can fit 14 groups of one-half days inside seven days. Number 4. Diego said that the answer to the question, how many groups of 5 sixths are in 1, is 6 fifths, or 1 and 1 fifth. Do you agree with his statement? Explain or show your reasoning. Diego said that there are 6 fifths groups of 5 sixths in 1. So 6 fifths times 5 sixths equals 30 thirtieths, which is equal to 1. So I agree with Diego. Number 5. Select all equations that can represent the question, how many groups of 4 fifths are in 1? I've narrowed it down to these two. D. What number times 4 fifths equals 1? And E. 1 divided by 4 fifths equals what number? Number 6. Calculate each percentage mentally. A. What is 10% of 70? Well, 10% of something is 10 times smaller than that number. So what's 10 times smaller than 70? 7. B. What is 10% of 110? Again, what's 10 times smaller than 110? 11. C. What is 25% of 160? 25% is like one-fourth. So what's one-fourth of 160? Or what's 160 divided by 4? That's 40. D. What is 25% of 48? Again, 25% is like one-fourth. So what's 48 times one-fourth or 48 divided by 4? That would be 12. E. What is 50% of 90? Well, we know 50% would be half of something, so what's half of 90? 45. F. What is 50% of 350? Again, 50% is half of something, so what's 350 divided by 2, or half of 350? That would be 175. G. What is 75% of 300? 75%, well, that's three times greater than 25%, so instead of representing one-fourth, that's going to represent three-fourths. So what's three-fourths of 300? That would be 225. H, what is 75% of 48? 75% of 48 is 36. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 6, 
using diagrams to find the number of groups. Hurry, hit it!